You know what is funny about this whole recession thing with the US economy? Well, as a matter of fact, last Thursday, we got the numbers coming from the GDP. The GDP is the gross domestic products. It's the indicator that gives us um, insights around you know, the whole amount of value that the US economy is producing. So when you add the goods, the services, everything that the business are producing, when you add that you combine, it gives you an indication on how the US economy is doing. But if you compare that GDP with what we were last year, actually we are decreasing, you know, we're decreasing to a negative 0.9%. So the economy hasn't grown last uh, 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 um, quarter, um, and this is the second quarter. So this second quarter consecutively to the quarter before, so from January to March, it was also declining, and it means that we are in a recession. So from a textbook definition, you know, this is something I learned in business school on the very first month, all right? This is a recession, regardless of what the White House want us to say. It's a recession because this is the definition of a recession. But the bottom, I mean, the, the weird thing about this is it doesn't feel like a recession. It doesn't feel like it because the number two top indicators of a recession are people are losing jobs and wages, you know, salaries are also decreasing because what happens in a recession is companies are not growing. And when companies are not growing, it's either because you know, there is inflation, which is the case, all right? And when it's an inflation, it means interest rates need to go high. And when the interest rate needs to go high, it prevents them it reduces their capability, their capacity to start invest, to continue to invest or to grow. That's why they will cut back on hiring, which we saw some of the companies like Tesla, like Coinbase, you know, in the tech sector, starting to lay back people. And even in e-commerce, Etsy or, you know, some, some other, you know, um, e-retailer um, announced laid off because they want to save money. All right. So when people save money, it means you are going to have a lot of people going back to the uh, 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 un to, to, to unemployment. But the unemployment rate is as low as it was prior to the pandemic. And we have a lot more jobs out there. I think we have about 11 million jobs available out there. So on one hand, you have companies trying to figure, okay, it may be recession, it may be not. And in the other hand, you have the job market and other companies still finding or small businesses looking for people to work. So these two indicators usually are indicators that we are in a recession, but it's totally the opposite. And on top of that, when you look at the real economy, when I go to shops, when I go to, you know, businesses, outside of seeing hiring, 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 I also see people still buying stuff. So even though People were already kind of worrying about their savings accounts since the, couple, the last couple of months in terms of my ability to continue to, you know, maintain my lifestyle, to pay for food, gas and everything. Um, there is still a good, they, they were still in a good standing in terms of money I have left. All right. So even if it was concerning, it's not like people are going or running out of money because they do have some type of, you know, money available in case things get worse. So we are not there yet. And that's why it brings me to the conclusion that um, the recession thing that we're seeing now is a scam in a sense that the data is telling us we are technically in a recession, but reality is not telling us that we are indeed in a recession. It's, it's kind of weird. It's kind of weird, you know. So, and I think the, the one of the reasons this is one of the reasons why the stock market dropped a lot since the beginning of this year but on friday we had elon musk the tesla from ceo that said inflation may have peaked and bill ackman also agrees these are two giants in the financial world so to think that to have these two guys come out and say you know inflation may have peaked i believe is going to bring a lot of attention from investors from the whole market why because the way things work in the stock market when people feel like you know we don't know what is coming next or things are gonna go bad like the war like recession fears like inflation people were freaking out because they didn't know how the economy will react to this how you know the money will continue to grow especially in the stocks and the companies they invested they pull the money off because they don't want to lose money that's why the main thing when you trade or when you invest is to protect your capital. That's the bottom line. 
you can always recover that money back but as long as your money is being protected that's the bottom line that's why as soon as there is bad news in the market people will tend to sell off people will tend to take the money off and the market will sell off now i believe this same reaction that we just had from elon musk bill ackman but also when you look at and it does make sense i've been saying this for months it does make sense because even though we are in a recession the very first thing that caused people to freak out about recession was high inflation but now high inflation is coming back down high inflation is showing signs i mean economy is showing signs of inflation has peaked why because when you look at the commodity prices are you still paying five dollars you know a gallon for gas no not 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 likely unless you are in california but that is a specific, you know, uh, 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 state there when it comes to those prices. But you look at, you know, the, 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 the major commodities, you know, wheat and everything. But you also look at wages. Wages, inflation hasn't spiraled. Meaning, if people are still getting paid and getting increases and getting bonuses, it will not prevent them or discourage them from going out and buying stuff. Because the more we buy stuff, the more inflation goes up, right? But also, when you look at China, China is now looking at opening more, you know, their, their doors to international flights, to international business. And that will also smooth out, you know, the supply chain issues. If you look at earnings from companies like Apple, like Tesla, like GM, you know, those guys rely a lot on supply chain issues. But they reported better than expected earnings even in the midst of this tough environment for their companies and their businesses so to me is it's telling me that we have a lot more good news coming our way that's going to show inflation as likely peaked and on the tail of that the market will continue to recover and potentially go back to new highs that's why it's very important that I stick to my strategy, which was to dollar cost average, because when I dollar cost average in my favorite stocks, in my favorite mutual funds, in my favorite ETFs, and in my favorite crypto, I make sure that I'm accumulating on the way down. Because when things are on sale, that's why I want to buy. I don't want to buy a car when the price is at 100000 If I get a chance to buy it at eighty dollars or $70,000, then boom, I'm going for it. If I want to buy a shoe, if I want to buy a laptop, if I want to buy anything at a discount, I want to make sure I'm buying when it's at a discount because if I want to sell it, I want to make sure I sell it when the price are rising. That's how you build wealth. That's how I will continue to add dollars and zeros to my net worth balance. So I think when we go into next week, when we go into the next coming months, it's going to be a very interesting time to start seeing the fruits of those of you like me who stick with your you know investing strategies now if you are still looking out on some of the opportunities because there are opportunities in the market right now everything is still drastically on sale crypto uh, a stock market you know nft market i mean uh, 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 um, etf mutual funds everything is still drastically on sale so now is the time to take and to make the moves because it's not too late all right, so um, let's see how this week um, plays and then the, the, the other following week. But let me know in the comment section which sector, which industry you guys are kind of putting a lot more of your money, you know, when it comes to uh, kind of swing trading or maybe, you know, taking some, some gains when the market goes back to, to new highs.